What is a great comic book moment that's already happened on the big screen that you most wish your character could have been a part of because they would have absolutely rocked it? Oh, well, that's such a big wow. question. Ooh. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm under the weather. I took a sick day today, so I'm sorry you have to listen to all this. I apologize. You don't look under the weather. Your it's hair all makeup looks and, and hair gel and lighting. Trust me. I appreciate you. Thank you. This yeah. is your sick work. I'm impressed. I, for you, honestly, Good most junkies I would have dropped out of, but I don't drop out of this one. Oh, we appreciate that. Thank I you. you. Y'all have a great day. Yay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> he loved that. He liked <laughs>
No, I remember when I saw you in the suit, Bella, I was like, I literally was immediately started taking pictures of you. And I like, know. we called your mom too on FaceTime. We were like, I, look at Bella's suit. Yeah, yeah. It took a while to get rid of the wedgie, but <laughs> I was, the, so my boring. biggest question the first time I put it on was, how do we put all of the harnesses and layers on underneath our suit? Cause it's a tight suit. I had, you can't it's even really skin. bend your leg all the way. Mm -mm. <laughs> and I remember we were practicing all these things and then the moment you get the suit on, you're like, wait, I can't even move. Mm -mm. And then you have layers upon layers of harnesses and uh, different skins on underneath. It was very concerning. <laughs> well, a, a testament that they are amazing actors because I could never tell. So, <laughs> Y'all are the absolute best. I appreciate you being so kind and, and putting up with all of this. But seriously, thank you for, for having fun with my questions. I appreciate you. This yeah. is your sick work. I'm impressed. I and for Honestly, most junk kids I would have dropped out of, but I don't drop out of this one. Oh, wow. we appreciate that. Thank I you. Y'all have a great day. Yay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> he loved that. Like Ms. Johnson, good to see you again. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing so well. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm under the weather. I took a sick day today, so I'm sorry you have to listen to all this. I apologize. You don't look under the weather. Your it's hair all makeup looks and, and hair gel and lighting. Trust. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to jump into this. You know, uh, Marvel fans know that, that Madam Web obviously is a character with deep roots in the world of Spider-Man. And obviously down the road, if we're lucky, uh, maybe we'll get to see these two share a screen one day. But I'm sort of curious as an actor, before you sign on to something like this, what sort of spider-man answers or clarification do you need like do you need to know if that's cro if that crossover will happen one day or is it not something that you concern yourself with at the time um you know I, because this is sort of a standalone world and it's not it's not you know that matt this is madam webb's world before spider-man exists so it's um you know it's before he was born so it's, uh, I don't know. I think I felt like excited about what could happen in the future. And then I don't know if it's, who knows? I just felt, I just felt great that it was this like female perspective on a superhero world. It's very, without giving anything away, there are a lot of really fun Easter eggs or moments to sort of appease that, that want while also recognizing that it's its own film, which I think is great. Um, Comic book fandom, I feel like, can be obviously very intense, uh, but it's not the first time that you've dealt with intense fandom because the, the Fifty Shades books had their own intense fandom. I'm sort of curious if, if fandom feels different. Like, are fans just fans, or is there a difference between fans of the, the novel series that you adapted versus fans of comic book? I don't really know. I haven't been exposed to the comic book fans very much yet at all. I, I don't you know, we're just starting this, so I don't know. <laughs> One of the great ideas of this movie is sort of getting um, the chance to, to redo something uh, once you know how it's going to turn out, getting the chance over and over again. I'm sort of curious, is there a, a professional moment, uh, a, a take, a character choice, a line reading that you might wish that you could redo one more time with the knowledge that you have now? I am such an annoying uh, person when it comes to my work that I, I would like to redo everything I've ever done. Why is that? Because I'm never going to be like, that was good. <laughs> I'll never feel that way. Well, does it help if we watch it and say that it's good? Like, like Suspiria is kind of a fucking masterpiece. Like that's like, there's, <laughs> it's incredible. I think I could have done better. Okay. Can, I, I will <laughs> respectfully disagree with you on that just because I thought it was fantastic. Oh, okay. Um, thanks. Usually when uh, an actor signs on to a bigger comic book world, uh, the go-to question is obviously what characters that you would want to share a screen with. I'm sort of curious if there were, if we had gotten you as Madam Web 10, 15 years ago and those crossovers had begun to happen, are there any great comic book moments that we've already seen on the big screen that you just know Madam Web would have crushed it in if, if we could have put you in that? Gosh, that is a question for someone who is like really well versed in Marvel films, and I, Fair enough. I well, that, am, that... I am like mediumly, like little to medium amount versed in. Well, comic that, that actually kind of yields an interesting question. Like, how versed do you need? Because obviously, like you take the script and and you run with it, and you and you crush the character. How versed do you have to go back into the old stuff uh, to to pull it off? Um, well, with this one, you don't really have to know anything about any of these characters or anything before watching it. There's, like, no homework required, really. But I did, obviously, learn about Madame Webb and 
and the characters of the younger women and I I did um, I did try and find what I could in in the comics for sure. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads.